Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition video all about the Bambinos, basically. So, first of all, okay, break. this is our breaking news video. You clicked on it because you wanted to hear what's going on. So, the breaking news is that the Bambinos have cut Lane Traver from the roster. He's, he's out. And they have, uh, no, they didn't pick up, but Nate, who is on the roster already, is now Active, who we thought was doubtful. He had been reported last week as doubtful by the team, and then they switched his status yesterday to active. Apparently, told him now, I'm gonna, I'm active for the term, and now I'm not out anymore, or whatever it was. Yes. I don't know the details, but he's active. He's playing. He's active and he's playing. So, and they confirmed that Colton Titus is out. Yes. So still on the team, just Nate's not playing. In, this Colton's out, and now Lane. Is just out, out. No longer part of the team, out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, their their roster now is Tyler Traver. Yeah, let's just start. Tyler Traver, who's n not really been involved in any of this shenanigans. Right. Nate. Not, Nate, who is, yes. Who was doubtful. Now he's active. Now he's active. Then, uh, then you got Colton, Colton Titus, Titus, who's out. But they left him on the roster. And then the other half of the breaking news. Uh, Caleb uh, Carroll. Caleb Carroll. New rookie high school, so they're not paying him anything. His contract's free until he graduates. So that's how the high school contracts work in this league. And he's their fourth player. Yes, and they picked him up after they cut Lane. Yeah, it was like Basically simultaneous. because they wanted to have two or, uh more than two players there for this coming tournament, and Lane wouldn't have been able to play. Lane yesterday was reported out for the team. So it was basically between, you know, they had a four-man team. Uh, Tyler and Nate were in. Lane and uh, <clears throat> Colton were out. They said, we don't want to roll with just two. They picked Lane to be the one that they were going to cut out and bring on Caleb. Yes. And then Nate said he was active anyways. In the whole shebang of that, yes. So yes. it was just, it gave me a, a headache following the whole thing, <laughs> texting back and forth with them to keep up with all their stuff. And gosh, this went on for hours, guys. And the ridiculous. interesting thing was, <laughs> in deciding who they were going to pick up in place of Lane, yes. they had a tryout. <laughs> yes, a tryout. Here's a picture that Hannah, the coach, sent in to us. Um, and basically, it was just between two players, Caleb Carroll and Nathan Carroll. Yeah. And they chose Caleb. So Caleb is the one uh, batting and Nathan is the one pitching. What Brian went and co-owner told me was that Caleb was the better batter. Nathan was the better pitcher. They decided we've got Tyler. We've got Nate. We've got Colton on the roster. We don't need more pitchers. We're going to go with Nate or exactly. Caleb. Go with, yeah. So it just cracks me up. They held a tryout and I it know. cracks me up that they told someone you didn't make the cut. I mean, that's just funny to me. Uh, so, okay, now know. let's look at this in terms of JL13. Because they, they kind of have a new team and they kind of don't. Tyler, Nate, and now Caleb Carroll. Are they still a playoff team to you? Or is, the, is it any different? Do you see them the same? What? What's going through your mind? Yes. But they're really flirting, in my opinion, with the idea of not being a playoff team. This is just, really? There's so many distractions right now going on with this team to where they could have just rolled into this tournament smooth. And now they got all these other things that you're worrying about. You know, they just, just cut a player yeah. two weeks before the tournament that was a core guy. And you're bringing on a rookie. And I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of extracurricular activity going on with this team. Yeah that uh, worries me. And yeah. the fact that Lucas Myers is reportedly looking good. Yeah, I, and I am, but you know what? Uh, they've been out, the Fog have been out practicing, and Darren's not going to be there to make Jacob and him yell goofy. I don't know. I, I, I'm leaning towards the Fog right now to get that third seed. I really am. Okay. It could still be the Bino, Bambinos. You know, we'll see what happens. But I'm worried about the Bambinos' uh, <laughs> uh, playoff hopes right now. More, and it's more about just all this nonsense that's going on right, right now than it is the actual talent that's on the field. Yeah, 
I agree with that to a point, but I will say this. If they picked up Caleb Carroll and Nate wasn't active, then I would say I don't think they're a playoff team. But since Nate is active now, um, out of nowhere, now I think they're still a playoff team, and I think they're they're about the same, maybe even a little better. I have an interesting thing to add to this. Okay. So in the midst of all this, when they were figuring out for literally hours how uh, who was going to be on the roster and who wasn't going to be, you know, when they were deciding who were going to cut, yeah. they ended up going with Lane. But it was between uh, Lane, Nate, and Colton to who they were going to cut. Mm. And they were very close to cutting Nate, which yes. shocked me. Yes. Shocked you. It was shocking to Ty. They had literally had it nailed down to Nate. They told us, we're going to cut Nate. They, you know, they we, we waited. We said, well, we said, you know, tonight, give us your final word. So, you know, anything you say right now isn't going to be final word until you say it later because this had gone on for a while. But at one, at one point, they're like, all right, we're, we're, uh, we're probably going to end up cutting Nate. And yes. I was like, that what? Was, it was shocking. Because well, because I know me and you think he's maybe the best player on that team. He has a lot of potential as a pitcher. He's a pretty good hitter. And they made it sound like they thought he was the weakest link on that team and that he was wild and not a very good hitter. So. Their management is a lot lower on Nate than we are. Yes. I'll put I another interesting know. thing here. Okay. They said uh, – uh, this was also came from their ownership, Hunter or Brian, I can't remember, but it was I said, Why'd you why Lane and not Colton? Or why you know, we want a word on why he chose to cut Lane instead of Colton and Nate. They said, you know, Nate's a good player or, and around the league he's got a big reputation of being a good player and he's gonna be a free agent after this tournament. They think he's an gonna all-star. command yeah, all star. Gonna command a high contract potentially when he comes a free agent. Yeah. They thought they'd seen Lane before. They know what they had in Lane. And they think they're really high on Colton Titus, who's out for this tournament again, but they didn't want to give him up and let someone else potentially snag him in free agency, like how Lane could be snagged, even though he can't play in this next tournament because he's out, but in for future tournaments. Yeah. You know, he showed he can pitch yeah. in those practice videos and, you know, in the last tournament a little bit. So they're, they, I, it just seemed to me like they – Wanted to, even though Colton, they don't know exactly what they have with him yet because no experience, but they felt like, you know, he could be a star, so we're going to keep him here and we'll just let Lane go. Yeah. And I think in the future, if this Caleb Carroll kid isn't as good as they hope, I think their their plan is just to cut him and re-sign Lane if Lane's not picked. But I, I'm telling you, I, see that. I think Lane might – get some uh, other offers from some other teams while he's yeah, on the Yeah, that would surprise me because there's some teams who need pitching, and he's, you know, he maybe maybe not one of the top-tier pitchers, but he can do it. And I so think the I underdogs, knowing himself. Adam, is going to leave their team more than likely. Yeah. I think they're going to take a serious look at Lane Traver, and I think the Storm, so, yeah. Yeah, that's the one you brought up, they're going to take a serious look at Lane Traver. Yeah. And I think Lane Traver – because he's really uh, been real loyal to – I kind of feel bad for him getting cut like this. Yeah, I know. He's been real loyal to this team, real like Bambinos, Bambinos. Yeah. And they cut him out, cut him loose. So, Lane, I think you should look at these other teams' offers <laughs> and try to go play them again next time yeah. and show them, hey, you should have cut one of these other guys. And you should have kept me on the roster. Yeah. So, it was a wild day. Quick side note. I understand why they didn't want to cut Colton Titus. Because I know he hasn't had any experience – but I agree with them in that I think he could be a pretty good player in this league, pitching wise and hitting wise. Well, personally, me, for, if I was running the team, I would have been fine with just having Tyler and Nate play the tournament. I get that they I wanted to have a third player to have depth, but if it was me, I would have just kept the team intact, not messed with any distractions. Sure, you would have gone in with a lighter roster number, with only having two players. You know, most teams have three and. Um, you know, yeah. a lot have four, so they would have gone on with two. Would have been, but I would. I mean, keep the team together, keep what you yeah. have building together. But they said, now nah, we're gonna 
I agree so, with that. And sometimes depth is overrated if you have two good players. Yeah, I mean, I think Tyler and Nate could have got it done on their own. I mean, yeah. And then, you know, bring this Caleb kid in, he can't, he's, he, he can't swing the bat. He's being terrible, and it just takes away in a bat from Nate and Tyler, and it could end up hurting the team. I mean, yeah. that's just what I would have done. I think the Bambinos, they put a lot of thought and effort in this. So, you know, until we really see. they know see, the kids more than we do. And the, Yeah, they, they do. Up and but until up. we really see, like, this decision-making from them, like, fall apart and where we can <laughs> sit here and be like, that was a bad call. They shouldn't yeah. have done that. Then I'm on board whatever they do. I just the, – the whole distractions with all this is going on, especially with the tournament right around the corner, it's just head-scratching to me, and I'm worried about their playoff chances. <laughs> I really am. All right. Well, I guess that's what we have to say about this news. Um, do we have videos coming out this week? Uh, Sometime. Stay tuned. Okay.